welcome back to another video cast of Cleverly Inspired. Today we're going to do a Valentine's wreath that really you could do any time of year, but I thought we'd do it in pinks to uh, celebrate the upcoming Valentine holiday. And really it's a very simple wreath. It's very low cost. And anybody really can do it. You could get your kids involved and uh, it's a lot of fun. So what you're going to need is an 18 inch wreath form. These are found in the floral supply, um, you know, Michael's Joanne Fabric in the floral uh, supply area. And it is a flat wreath, as you will see. It's just made of a um, real thin particle board, but that's perfect for what we're using it for. You're also going to need either a grain ribbon or um, I'm going to use eyelet today because that's what I had available. And so want to use what I have and you're going to need 50 inches of this or any kind of ribbon that you're going to put around uh, the base just so to cover up that that kind of ugly wood. Um, the other thing you're going to need is one package of tissue paper and you know all that pretty tissue paper over in the gift wrap aisle uh, there's always a good project because they're so pretty there's so many colors. Today we're going to use the pinks, uh, obviously, for Valentine's Day. And I found a package of 10 sheets, I think it was. And so I basically cut those up into squares, about 4 by 4 inches. Doesn't have to be perfect. Um, make it fun. Don't try to be perfect about it because then it won't turn out. <laughs> if you think it's got to be perfect, you're not going to be happy with the outcome. So just go for it and have fun. Cut them up. Like I said, don't measure. Just go for it. You're going to need that. You're going to need your hot glue gun and probably about three or so, three or four sticks of glue because we're going to kind of get squirting. And that's our project today. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is our glue our eyelet or our ribbon down to the base of this um, wreath form here. So you're going to want to put some hot glue. Just take your hot glue gun and just go ahead and squirt. I can get this glue to come out here. Go ahead and squirt all around and then lay your eyelet or your ribbon. You could even really use fabric if you want just something that might cover up this this ugly board. So we're going to continue all around gluing that until the base is covered. Okay, so as you can see we've got our eyelet all glued to the wreath form. Now we're going to take our big stack of fun colorful tissue. Basically what you're going to do is pinch it. You're going to pinch it on the right side and squinch it up. <laughs> I know that's not a word, but it's going to kind of make a little flat bottom there. We basically pinched it to make it a little bit like a flower, I suppose. Then you're going to take some hot glue and you're just going to put a dab of hot glue on your eyelet and push it down. Now, I promise you, you will get burned by the hot glue. It happens. So but we're going to do a couple like that and then we're going to take a couple and do them the opposite way. So you're going to take the right side, I'm sorry, the wrong side and pinch it like that. Put, put some of those down. And what we're going to do is go all the way around this form and keeping to pinch, pinch the paper and just keep going at it until it's all filled out. So we're working fast, we're just scrunching up the paper, placing it quickly, grabbing another piece. See that one even falls out, but that's okay because I'm going to come back with some more glue and just hold, hold it for a second. Just working quickly because it's not a perfect science and it'll look cute when you go back and fix it. I mean, I'm not even really, I'm just kind of folding them up quickly and placing them because that's what's going to create the fullness. 
Okay, so you can see our whole wreath is pretty much covered. What we're going to do now is keep going back in and just filling in the holes that you might see. Like I said, you can't really ruin this. You just have to put the paper on top of oops, sorry, the paper on top of the paper and just sort of press it down. That's what creates the fullness. Okay, everybody, so that's our project today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I think it would look super cute on a white wall or maybe above your mantle or on a door. Obviously, I wouldn't put it outside since it's made of paper, but I think it's a great project. I don't think I would do it with kids because this hot glue does turn tend to burn if you get some on your fingers, but otherwise, I think it's a great project, and I have a lot of paper left over, so you probably don't need the whole uh, package. You probably don't need to cut it all up, but you could make another wreath. So um, I'm glad you enjoyed it, and please keep checking back with Cleverly Inspired. We're so glad that we're inspiring you guys to do some crafts. See ya!